Hello internet, welcome back to the Workbooks. I am Sefi and we finally have both kits for aid and privacy. So we're gonna be making a before you pull video for privacy, just in case you have doubts if you should be pulling or not. This is uh, initial impressions before release. Take that into consideration. Most people should wait until the unit is out and people or content creators and wealth. We act as guinea pigs to see if a unit is good or not and is worth for most people now in paper she's looking really really good and i'm gonna be zooming in so you can actually guys uh, read and see the numbers uh, but let's go over everything first of all right looks i have nothing to say this is for me a pool just for the looks i want one copy because wife most likely wells will mlb since she is competing for the top spot in shotguns with summer and at least for the pss right now let's get into her kit she is a mate she's a shotgun electric attacker per three ammo capacity nine reload time two seconds dealing 182 of attackers damage increase hit rate when attacking really good and 200 percent when attacking the core now like i was saying she's gonna be competing not really competing they're gonna be different situations uh, with summer annie summer annie is dealing 259 of attackers damage but doesn't increase hit rate now that's a big difference of base damage and when we talk about base damage we know that the hardest hitting units usually have higher modifiers right Scarlet and Summer Anis are the best examples for electric units <laughs> since they are both the queens in this regard. Still, it looks like pretty good because the kids synergize amazingly. So let's go over the skill one first. Passionate Maid activates when landing attacks 30 times using pellets. Now, pellets, it's something that Shift Up themselves created the problem and now they are selling the solution. <laughs> this wasn't something that existed previously. Still, I'm glad that they're making new things into the game because getting the same unit over and over and over and over, it's boring. It, it adds nothing to the game and at least with pellets and shotguns, we can cook some new stuff that previously we couldn't. So first unit that will help with this is going to be, of course, Leona. When we talk about pellets, by default, shotguns have 10 pellets. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. I think all shotguns have 10 pellets by default. Leona at level seven, skill two, will increase by five when you are entering Feral Burst. This means you will have 15 pellets per hit or per shot, making this every two shots, you are dealing 200% of final attack, which is cast with overload as additional damage. This is pretty good. And also something new, or at least I don't believe no other unit has this, affect two enemy units nearest to the crosshair. Most of the time you want your skills to be affecting the boss or whoever you are targeting, but your, your niggas are like, nope, <laughs> I'm targeting the one with the highest attack or highest defense or whatever. In fact, Anis has that, that problem, which is two enemies with highest attack. Highest attack is usually good because it's most of the time the boss, but you never know, right? You might want to shoot someone different other than the boss sometimes. So this is pretty cool and it's a new line we get into the game. Now this should be every two shots on burst, off burst every three shots. If we assume you are hitting all of your pellets, which most likely will not happen unless it's a boss that's constantly close to you. Right. So most likely we, we are assuming two shots on super optimal conditions, three shots on not so optimal. Now let's go into skill number two, which is loving mate. Activates when more than five pellets once again hit with a single normal attack, affecting self, increasing the reloading speed by 20%. You should be able to maintain this buff basically 100% of the time. We will see when she drops, when she comes, right? If you are always hitting five pellets or most of the time, again, you are not going to be using her on a Stormbringer. And I always put the same example because it's easy to understand. <laughs> You're going to be using her on bosses you can make use of shotguns. So this is pretty good. You should be able to maintain this always. And then also we have activate when hitting 30 times using pellets during fall burst time, affecting herself, reloading one round, and increasing attack by 11%, stacking up to five times, which is 55, 56% of attack. This is pretty good. This is pretty good, but has one small caveat. Full burst is 10 seconds. So you will not be able to make full use of that damage unless you are getting a unit with attack speed. And as you all know, what recent units synergizes with shotguns and gives you some good critical and some good attack speed? <laughs> of course, though. So, the composition is pretty obvious right now, right? It's gonna be top, it's gonna be Leona, it's gonna be the new Privati, and then we have two incognitos in there that will see what's best to use. Still, you will not be able to fully make use of a skill two unless you are getting attack speed. And there is only one or two units, I believe, please correct me if I wrong in the comments, that actually provide this. Since this only activation full burst is going to be every two shots if you can hit all of your pellets, if not every three shots, since it's not with a single normal attack like the previous line. When it comes to 
the reload one round line this is not making her infinite ammo like we all love to make unit with infinite ammo and i think the the, the biggest fan of infinite ammo builds is always going to be in sky uh, but uh, she should not be able to because uh, unlike for example uh, african-american scarlet she reloads her full magazine and increases max ammo capacity uh, with the new private team we're not getting that she's just reloading one round and she has nine base and this is every two three shots so uh, still is pretty good and using bastion this should help you get a good extra chunk of damage on every single burst because it's not when she's bursting it's just on third burst time pretty nice and then lastly we have the person skill your bashful mate affecting herself <laughs> attack damage and critical damage that critical damage modifier 88 percent it's crazy and she has attack damage not attack that's better it just scales a lot better thanks to the uh, damage formula and uh, nikkei gg has a really good page explaining the damage formula so if you want to read that go check that even though rudanwefus.com is better for <laughs> it's good it's good it's good it's good, it's good. love one love to nikkei gg and to pride one um, and then also uh, dealing 1000% of final attack as damage affecting all enemies so once again a lot of things here but overall the, the initial impressions are that she's going to be a really really strong shotgun uh, i'm not really sure what other units will be able to put on that team or for the last compost for, for the last dps a lot of people were talking about guillotine in there and it does make sense uh, but we still need one more shotgun to actually make use of those extra buffs from Tove and Leona. Most people will go uh, through the sugar route. The problem with that is that this is a really specialized team, right? This is a team that's really, first of all, uh, no cooldown reduction. Then second, you have the problem of no heals. It depends what you're doing. So we're getting close to the perfect shotgun team, but it looks like it's going to be something similar to Snow White, where when it started on release, it was a super specific team. And over time, we've gotten more and more and more options that you can utilize for that, right? So that said, I think it's going to be safe getting one copy for most people. But at the same time, reminder that she's not limited. Right? If you are tight on resource, most likely we are getting a call-up announcement soon. Right? We all know it. It is time. It is time, boys. They are either bringing out the Pilgrim or they are bringing out the Collab. One of the two. So I will personally, if you're fully free to play and you are tight on resources, I will save. If you have some spare resources, I will try to grab one copy. Now, this is a before you pull, before the release. So this is all of the videos we make as content creators before the character comes out. Take it with a grain of salt. Wait until the character is out. We test. We run the numbers, right? That said, that's going to be it for this video. Do let me know if you guys are pulling for her or not. We're going to be doing viewer pools like always we have multiple mlbs to do my own pools and surely we are not shafting anyone this time around <laughs> that's it thank you to my patrons for making this content possible love you all do let me know what you think about private in the comments down below good luck with your pool dinner rates and see you in the next one